OK, so this video is 1989 Batman Book of the Film, All the Small Changes. I've done three videos showing the differences between scenes in the book and film versions of 89 Batman, and one video about a deleted scene not seen in the film. This is just a roundup of all the interesting small changes I noticed when I reread it recently. During the party scene at Wayne Manor, Bruce Wayne goes unnoticed when he's behind the reporter Knox and Vicky Vale when they are admiring his armory. In the book, Vicky notices him straight away, but still doesn't know who he is. When Batman escapes from the police and acts his chemicals, he drops a smoke bomb. In the book, it's a flash of light and then smoke. In the book, Joker's henchmen are described as wearing colourful outfits. In the film, they just wear all black. I think Tim Byrne had a lot to do with that change. When Joker kills a mobster in front of City Hall with a poisoned quill pen, Bruce gets shot in the arm, but doesn't notice it as he must be wearing armour underneath his clothes. In the book, he doesn't get shot at all. In the book, Vicky sees an old photo of a young Bruce being comforted by a young Commissioner Gordon at the scene of his parents' murder. This isn't in the film, but this idea was used in Batman Begins many years later. When Vicky finally realises Bruce is Batman, she confronts him in the Batcave. In the book, it's just in some random room in Wayne Manor. When Batman has just blown up Joker's HQ Axis Chemicals with the Batmobile, the Joker taunts him from a helicopter. In the book, he also shoots at him. During the parade sequence, Knox gets out a baseball bat to take on Joker's henchmen. In the book, he gets out wire cutters to try and disable the gas canisters spewing out Smilax gas. And he also gets shot, but it's not fatal. Also during the parade, a member of the public realises that the money Joker is giving away is fake. In the comic book version, it's Knox who notices this. This idea isn't in the film, but it should be, as it's a good one. When Joker is lying dead in the street, they also notice Batman's body not too far away. But when they take off the mask and cape, it's Knox underneath. This is also in the comic book version, but not the film. I can only assume Batman does this to play a prank on Knox, as he's the one who's been interested in the Batman story from the very beginning, when everybody else thought it wasn't newsworthy. There are others, but those are the ones I find the most interesting, and hopefully you did too. That's the last video I can squeeze out of the Batman book, but hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.